Hello YouTubes, since virtualization seems to be all the rage these days, I've decided to make a thin client out of Raspberry Pi using FreeRDP. And here's how we install it. This is provided that we use Raspbian as the operating system of the, the Raspberry. First we need to open up a root terminal. And you may or may not get this password prompt. Now, once we have the root terminal open, we'll get apt get install and free RDP. All the commands will also be in the video description. And now that that's done, let's go to our host side on the virtual machine that we want to connect to. Since in Windows we need to open up the remote desktop, otherwise we won't be able to connect to the Windows machine. And allow connections from computers running any version. And apply and OK. And that's it. Now we can connect to this particular machine. Now the next thing we need to know is the IP address of the machine that we're connecting to because otherwise we're not going to be able to find it. And you should be able to see the uh, IP address there. And we need to remember that for later. And now we'll just connect from the Raspberry Pi using a normal terminal using the FreeRDP. So you write xfreerdp dash u, which is the user. And in this case, my username is going to be thin, which has been created previously. And then we put the, the IP address of the host machine that we're connecting to. and just enter and there we go then just input the password for your account note that you can't connect without the password now since there is another user already on the computer it's gonna ask this we'll just click yes and it's gonna show us that the the other person needs to respond now we're going to see what it looks like on the other side And they get a prompt that if they don't click it this within 30 seconds, it's going to log them out and log you in. You can then press OK and this will happen. And now let's go back. And then it's just preparing the desktop for us and we should be able to go soon. And there we go. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and I hope this has been informative for you.